I just wear these for the, my brother that died a few years ago, and then uh, that's the only separate gun I have. Also. So now I don't start any uh, race without uh, these. So I just wear in the race because uh, I'm not a big fan of wearing it. But uh, usually when the race starts, uh, I put it on and I just keep it on until the end. So that's a way to. Uh, Oh, I wish he protect me, so I stay on the bike. My brother went for a run uh, in our small village where I'm born in Saint Perpetue, and uh, he get uh, hit and run uh, by a car. It appeared at the end that the guy uh, had drink some alcohol, and uh, yeah, he just left left him on the side of the road, and uh, I just find him on the side of the road a few hours later with my parents. The guy he came back uh, later when I was there and I uh, come to speak with me and I find out that was this guy that hit my brother by the question he was asking me. And then, uh, yeah, the investigation showed that it was actually him that uh, came back on the scene right, to get information. So my goal is to win a stage uh, of the tour for him. Hugo Hill is about to crest the top of the final major climb of the day. The Canadian takes the points, puts it in a massive gear and sets himself up for the descent of his life. Hugo Hill getting set to get the glory of a stage win. And the memory of Hugo Hill's brother, Perrick, has driven him to a stage win in the Tour de France. He points to the sky in memory. Hugo Hill of Canada wins for his brother Perrick here in Foix. I had one dream, win the stage for my brother who died when I turned professional and uh, today that one is for him. I worked for 10, 12 years and today I got my win for him so it's incredible. I don't know what to say, just so happy.